Hello YouTube, this is a video write-up for the challenge Baby Crypto from the cryptography category of Seesaw 2018. So the challenge prompt here is yeet, <laughs> uh, single yeet yeeted with single yeet is equal to zero. Yeet, what is yeet? Yeet is yeet. Yeet date yeeted yeet at yeet 9.42 p.m. I hope you guys like that soundbite. <laughs> Maybe you could just have a, a, a loop of me saying yeet or whatever. So... Uh, this is weird, right? We're, we're given a file to download here, which you can copy the link and wget if you particularly want. Um, I do have it already downloaded, so it's just in my current directory here. We can just cat it out, and it looks like base64, so we'll have to decode that and work with whatever ciphertext that we're dealing with. But this challenge prompt is stupid and cryptic. Crypto. Whatever. Uh, it, it says single yeet yeeted with single yeet is equal to zero, and that's the only kind of uh, footing that I had here, and the inkling that maybe this is XOR. <laughs> um, maybe that's, okay, like, typical crypto challenge, baby crypto, maybe that's just the simple, simplistic solution that we may go, or yield to, is, is XOR, exclusive OR. And we've covered this in the tour of x86, and that if you XOR something with itself, or single yeet yeeted with single yeet, XOR single something XOR with single something is going to equal zero, maybe this is a single byte XOR. So let's go ahead and play with it and, and work with it. What I'm going to end up doing is just subble ape.py. I'm going to put this in a script here. User bin environment Python. Um, we can go ahead and use a context manager because people tell me that I should do that with ciphertext.txt as handle. We can say cipher can equal handle.read and then we can print out that cipher. Cool. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and decode this with base64, 64, 64, not 3, and we have all this information here. So this is our real cipher now, but it's raw bytes. So what are we going to do with it? Well, let's try and do a single byte XOR. So what I did was I ended up using a the pwn library because that's awesome and you can just say let's do for i in range and when i did this originally i went for i in range of 255 you may notice my mistake in this but i want to just showcase my thought process and where i was going with this so the obvious if, if you know the solution to this this is a bad thing going from 255 but i'll show you let's go ahead and check it out let's go ahead and pwn.xor the cipher with the current i or the byte that we're looking at and let's just go ahead and print that out i'm gonna do this in the command line so we don't just explode sublime let's run python ape and then we get a bunch of stuff that's very not okay to read so let's pipe this to strings and see if we get anything worthwhile. I'm going to less through this so I can work through some things. And you can scroll through. There's a lot of garbage data in here, right? Eventually, we get to what looks like English letters. And if we keep scrolling down, we can find something, particularly here, eventually. I promise. Okay, cool. <laughs> it says, Leon programmer aspires create programs that help people less once. So we know we're getting English here. We know we potentially have a hit as to what this could be. Um, so what I did at this point is I tested if uh, programs is in, let's say, like, message can equal this. If it's in message, let's go ahead and print out um, the I that we're working on and then the message that we have to work with. And let's just return, break out of the program. So immediately we can go ahead and ape pi we will just go ahead and run exit not return so now it says this happened all with 223 that was the index that was a byte that we worked with it says leon is a programmer who aspires we have a lot of null bytes in here and you can see the flag is at the very very end but it says diffie hellman crap uh blah 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 with more, with more random bytes at the very very end so for a little bit of time, I genuinely thought this was the flag. <laughs> I genuinely tried to uh, correct those strange bytes and munge something that I could submit, but I asked around the IRC, and they told me, like, no, that's it's, it's actually in the real flag format. So I'm an idiot, whatever. Figured I'd play with it for a little bit, but then what I thought was that, oh, I can assume this is supposed to be in regular English. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and cipher, or take, take an XOR of our cipher with pwn.xor cipher with what we know the first part of the uh, actual I'm sorry, the, the actual message should be. So we know that should be Leon 
in capital L and then lowercase space is following that. And let's just let's just see what we have here. It looks like at the very start of it we have xff xff. So the last byte or 255 in when we're counting from 0 to 255 in ASCII or again bytes. Hexadecimal 0xff. That was a horrible realization and epiphany for me, and that when I went through this for loop for i in range of 255, range is non-inclusive. So I went up to 254, I did not touch 255. So if I wanted to fix this loop, I could go ahead and say for range 256, and then I could go ahead and print the message each iteration. And then you will go ahead and see when I run this at the very, very end, if I run strings, at the very, very end, we'll have the original plain text. Leon is a programmer who aspires to create programs that help people, blah, blah, blah. Real flag. Real flag in the correct format. And that's what we would submit. So if you wanted to, you could carve that out in Python, make it a real get flag script, whatever you wanted to. But we could track down that 0xff or 255 is the single byte key for this XOR. So interesting thing. I went through a stupid rabbit hole, some hurdle that I was not smart about and didn't even realize. Um, but I thought I had a little bit of intuition where I could figure out that, okay, I know the text is supposed to start with Leon, like presumably in like what should look like English with regular <laughs> regular cases, uppercase, lowercase letters and spaces, not null bytes. So figured I'd go for it with the properties of XOR and we got the flag out of that. Cool. Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say this enough. This list is getting longer and I have to split it up into two columns and that's crazy. So please keep rocking. I, it's just blows my mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server. Link in the description. It's a community for the CTO players, programmers, and hackers. If you want to hang out with me or other cool people, that's the place to do it. We'll be jamming together for Seesaw Red this weekend, Pico CTF, and other upcoming competitions and games. Thanks again, guys. Hope to see you on Patreon. Hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.